rage, rage emotion, rage often called fury or frenzy is a feeling of intense, violent or growing anger. It is associated with the fight or flight response and often activated in response to an external cue such as an event that impacts negatively on the person. The phrase thrown into a fit of rage expresses the immediate nature of rage that occurs before deliberation. If left unchecked, rage may lead to violence, depression and anxiety lead to an increased susceptibility excuse me, an increased susceptibility to rage. And there are modern treatments for this emotional pattern. Read about the symptoms and effects, biochemical neuroscience, health complications, treatment, types of therapy, meditation, psychology. Rage can sometimes lead to a state of mind where the individual experiencing it believes and often is capable of doing things that may normally seem physically impossible. Those experiencing rage usually feel the effects of high adrenaline levels in the body. This increase in adrenaline output raises the physical strength and endurance levels of the person and sharpens their senses. While dueling the sensation of pain, excuse me, while dulling the sensation of pain. Temporal perspective is also affected. People in a rage have described experiencing events in slow motion. An explanation of this time dilation effect is that instead of actually slowing our perception of time, high levels of adrenaline increase our ability to recall specific minutiae of an event after it occurs. Since humans gouge time based on the amount of things they can remember, high adrenaline, event, high adrenaline events such as those experienced during periods of rage seem to unfold more slowly. A person in a state of rage may also lose much of his or her capacity for rational thought and reasoning and may act usually violently on his or her impulses to the point that they may attack until they themselves have been incapacitated or the source of their rage has been destroyed. A person in rage may also experience tunnel vision, muffled hearing, increased heart rate, and hyperventilation. Their vision may also become rose tinted, hence seeing red. They often focus only on the source of their anger. The large amounts of adrenaline and oxygen in the bloodstream may cause a person's extremities to shake. Psychiatrists consider rage to be one end of the spectrum of anger and annoyance to be at the other side. Biochemical neuroscience rage occurs when oxytocin, vasopressin, and corticotropin releasing hormone are rapidly released from the hypothalamus. This results in the pituitary gland producing and releasing large amounts of the adrenocorticotropic hormone, which causes the adrenal, adrenal cortex to release corticosteroids. This chain reaction occurs when faced with a threatening situation. Health complications. Some research suggests that an individual is more susceptible to having feelings of depression and anxiety if he or she experiences rage on a frequent basis. Health complications become much worse if an individual represses feelings of rage. Dr. Sarno believes that repressed rage in the subconscious leads to physical ailments, cardiac stress and hypertension are other health complications that will occur when rage is experienced on a regular basis. Psychopathological conditions such as depression increase the chances of experiencing feelings of rage. Treatment, types of therapy, 
Evidence has shown that behavioral and cognitive therapy techniques have assisted individuals that have difficulties controlling their anger or rage. Role playing and personal study are the two main techniques used to aid individuals in managing rage. Role playing is utilized by angering an individual to the point of rage and then showing them how to control it. Multimodal cognitive therapy is another treatment used to help individuals cope with anger. This therapy teaches individuals relaxation techniques, problem solving skills, and techniques on response disruption. This type of therapy is proven to be effective for individuals that are highly stressed and are prone to rage. Meditation, Mindfulness Psychology FMRI scans of people who practice compassion meditation show that they have changed their brains in ways that make them more compassionate and less prone to negative emotions such as rage. MBSR programs have also been scientifically demonstrated to produce more frequent and strong feelings of love and happiness and less feelings of rage, anger, stress and depression. According to psychologists, rage is a behavior that every person exhibits in some form. Rage is often used to denote hostile, affective, reactive aggression as distinct from predatory, instrumental, proactive aggression, which, can, which by contrast is motivated by desire to obtain some goal by use of aggression. It denotes aggression where there is anger present that is motivated by causing some harm to others and is categorized by impulsive thinking and a lack of planning. Some psychologists, however, such as Bushman and Anderson, argue that the hostile predatory dictomy that, that is commonly employed to psychology fails to define rage fully since it is possible for anger to motivate aggression, provoking vengeful behavior without incorporating the impulsive thinking that is characteristic of rage. I'm just reading here. They point to individuals of groups such as Shuing Hoi Ho in the Virginia Tech Massacre or Eric Harris and Dallin Clabode of the Columbine High School Massacre, all of whom clearly experience intense anger and hate, but whose planning, sometimes over periods of years, forethought and lack of impulsive behavior is readily observable. Rage stems from anger in that in certain cases, where there is anger present, the ultimate push will create an outrageous occurrence. Many of the effects that stem from anger and how a person reaches the point of expressing rage is a fine line associated with these behavioral tendencies. Much of the behavior experienced from anger has been studied extensively, but most do not know what causes the next step, rage, or why some people go the extra emotional mile. Rage is considered to be an emergency reaction which we as humans are pre-wired to possess. Rage tends to be expressed when a person faces a threat to their pride, position, status, or dignity. Expression of rage can be very intense, often distinguished by distorted facial expressions and by threat or execution of physical attack. Rage is associated with individuals who experience psychopathological issues. This can lead to physical violence resulting in serious injury or death. Self-esteem is another factor of one feeling rage. Evidence has shown that individuals that suffer from low self-esteem may compensate by inflicting physical harm onto others. Some psychologists have seen rage as being inertially, excuse me, internally focused, constituting an attack on oneself rather than others. They believe this leads to rage being more intense, less focused, and longer lasting. They also believe this self-inflicted rage is a narcissistic response to one's past injuries. Rage, under this set of theories, is caused from built-up anger from past traumas. Rage can also be released in the wake of a traumatic event. In people who's witnessing the killing of loved ones, many will enter or go into rage, attempting to kill the perpetrator. This can sometimes be the most violent, reluctant type of rage and will usually end only after the killer or them, they themselves have been killed.
whether or not actions arise from the emotional state of rage is the subject of controversy in cognitive study. Read all about rage. Rage. Rage.